We just found a huge whitetail buck. All I could see was a tall rack sticking up out of this cotton field here. And holy is he one heck of a buck. He's out there roughly 300 yards out. And he's right in the middle of this field. But we happen to have a tree stand set up right over there. Which is going to be probably 150 yards out from here to here. Maybe even closer. So we're going to try and get up into this tree stand here without spooking this buck. And then we're going to set up the collar. And potentially be able to call in this giant white tail right into the tree stand. In fact, there he is right there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can see one. Oh my god, how cool is that? Honestly, if you've never been to a place where there's snow, this totally reminds me of it right here. You have snow and then you have the little like rows of plants or whatever it is. And that's the only way you can actually pick them out. The little brown spots, kind of like a silhouette against the white background like that. I know it's not snow, but it really reminds me of snow. And it honestly makes me want to have a snow map for white tail bucks. I know we already have a couple of maps with white tails, but to be able to have a snow map for white tails, now that would be something. Oof, right there, right there, right there. That's what I saw. That's exactly what I saw. Look at that rack sticking up. I mean, honestly, how cool is that? Wow. All right, so he's right there. Now, ideally, my goal was to get over here and set up a tree stand, but there's no trees, unfortunately, that we can put up our tree stand in this location. As you can see, there's one way back in there. And nothing else really within call distance. So I think what we're gonna do is shift over this way and maybe try and work our way back along this tree line here. This wind is quite interesting because it was literally just blowing directly north and now it's shifting back to the west. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What? The actual heck? Are you kidding me? There's a freaking alligator out here in this cotton field? No way, dude. I can't even believe it. I honestly can't even believe it. So our buck is out there at about 210 yards. We're going to set our caller right here. To try and call him in. And that should be well within call distance. But I cannot believe there's an alligator out here. So we're going to set up our tree stand right here. And apparently there's a alligator right below us. So we should probably get up in the air a little bit here. What? The actual heck, where is this thing? Dude, there's an alligator right below us. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, there it is. It's 34 yards out. Smoked! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a bonus! Just took an alligator down out of a tree stand in a cotton field out here. Now I feel like we probably should be using the 600 grain arrows, but that thing smoked. <laughs> he was quartering directly away from us. And he's going down. Wow, what are the odds of that? <laughs> I am quite impressed with that shot and also the fact that we took down an alligator out of this cotton field as well. So it should be piled up right on top of that road. Right there. No, it's still going. But it piled up right over there. All right, now our white tail should be over here. Yeah, there they are. Whoa, why are they traveling? They shouldn't be traveling. What happened here? Because the alligator or what? Oh, our big buck is way the heck up there. All right, let's get down and go track down that alligator. Man, that was something. That really was something. He ran right through here. And he crossed the road somewhere out here. It's going to be extremely difficult to be able to find blood here, but we know he crossed right about here. 
And he's piled up right there. All right, let's take a look at him. Man, that was cool. Oh, look at that shot. Absolutely precise shot placement there. Right through the center, coming up in, quartering away, going right through the long. Wow, 52 yard. Perfect trotting away shot right through the lung there. And that's going to be a female, but a very, very nice bonus. What a heck of a cool find, huh? We're sitting up in the tree stand trying to call in some huge whitetail bucks. And all of a sudden this thing appears. <laughs> it's one of those things where I never would have guessed in a million years that that would happen. But we got it down. So that was a sweet, sweet bonus. Well, since we got this decent gobbler out here, he's only 80 yards out. I feel like we should probably try and call him in. See if we can't take him down right from out of this tree stand. Let's see if we can't get lucky and get him to come in. There's definitely two different turkeys calling. There's one over here as well. Which is why it sounds like there's freaking turkeys everywhere here. Well, I just realized that we were actually using the crow call and the crow call is going to make the turkeys call from all over the place. So that's why we kept hearing all these different turkeys and this turkey was not coming in. Now we switch back to the mating call and he's coming straight in. In fact, he's out here at 40 yards, which is a perfect distance for a shot. I mean, he'll come closer, so we might as well let him come a little bit closer. And our caller is, I believe like right over there. Oh, there it is right there. So right there, he's about 30. Remember, this thing's a little bit more difficult to take a shot with. We got to use kind of the top blade of our broadhead there. And right there, he's roughly 25 yards. Let's see where he goes. All right, he's definitely in range now. 22 yards. Smoked him. Got him right in the spine and lung, and that's going to take him down instantly. Perfect shot. All right, let's grab our gobbler, which is laying right here. Really pretty bird, actually. Look at the tail feather on that thing. Nice, bright, and shiny bird. It's going to be a 4.5, and we did get a perfect spine shot there. 14 yards away. Well, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure our alligator scared our big whitetail buck. So we had to come back here the next morning and we already spotted this guy here. We got a really nice 180 plus whitetail coming right towards us here. We got the collar on and there's also some more whitetail in the back over here. As you can see right there is a doe and there's another decent buck back there. And another really nice 180 plus whitetail coming in here. Holy still don't know where our big buck is because he hasn't came out just yet but we know he's around here somewhere but right now our beautiful 180 plus whitetail is about to step into range he's 20 yards out from us right below the tree stand and that's going to be a perfect opportunity for a shot right there smoked him all right well that's awesome now we might be able to get this other 180 plus buck to come in as well which happens to be right over there and then this buck is coming in too another 180 plus buck awesome all right so we got a doe out there another doe there there's our 180 plus and there's the other buck there got a bear over there we're still watching and waiting for that giant because we know he's around here somewhere and you never know where he's going to show up at they should for surely be out there by now so i'm not sure why he's not over there there's a doe coming in over there another doe there oh my god there he is he's coming in he's coming in no way he's coming in finally he's coming in but guess what? This 180 plus buck is already right on top of us here. We should be able to take down this buck before that huge 180 plus, or I should say that 200 plus white tail comes in. Whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? What just happened here? That was really strange. Really, really strange. Everything just decided to dart off. Totally randomly. The wind is perfect. Um, I'm 
pretty sure our big buck is still coming in over here. Which, that's fine. But these 180 plus bucks should have not spooked. Another buck just showed up, a small white tail buck. Holy, this thing is calling in deer from absolutely everywhere out here. Wow. All right, we're gonna try the old grunt here a couple times and see if we can't get this big buck to come in. Oh, we had him there 40 yards out. He wanted to come in really bad, but he just didn't. Oh, he stopped out there. Well, at least we know he's not going anywhere, I suppose. It doesn't make any sense at all that these two bucks didn't come in. Got a fox out there and more does. All right, we're going to get down and pick up this buck real quick. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at all the deer. None of these deer are important. Oh, but that one is. Where the heck did that buck come from? That's another huge buck. I don't know where that buck even came from. That is not our giant. So here we go, it's gonna be a 196 gold. We took him at 19 yards and pulled off a nice double lung shot. A very nice white tail buck as well. But now we gotta figure out how to get this big buck to come in. I don't know if we have to move the collar or what we have to do, but we definitely gotta do something because that's not cutting it there. Let's put it over here. Put it right there. And it should still be calling. Change it up a little bit. See if we can't get one of these things to work. All right, so there's the other big buck. And then that is the other big buck. We literally have two 200 plus white tails out here within 250 yards out from us. And we can't seem to get them to come into the collar. It is a little bit more than a little bit frustrating, I should say. Because we have the caller and we have the grunt call and nothing seems to be working to get their attention. The doe's definitely coming in. You would think if she comes in, he should follow her. But she stopped right there. About 115 yards out from us. Oh, looks like she's coming in now. Oh, actually, she's stuck on that tree. <laughs> but now she's coming in. And... Boy, he really can't make up his mind if he wants to come in or not. He's just sitting right out there at about 200 yards. This doe is coming right to us. The other doe's right there. And he's finally coming in. As we're sitting here waiting for the other big buck to come in, this guy just shows up. A super nice wide rack 10 point buck. He's 80 yards out here and then there's another huge buck out there. 120 yards out. Our monster is right there at 130 yards out from us. So we're gonna have to make up our mind pretty quick. But boy is this buck just taking forever to come into the call. Absolutely forever. Like, we're about out of patience, waiting for this thing to come in. He is making progress, though. Because I'd say every five minutes, he's gaining about 10 yards, maybe 15 yards. But it's taking so long. At this point, we're actually using the grunt caller. Because, for some reason, he's not interested in um, the electronic caller solo. He really likes both calls at the same time. Dude, how are we gonna pass up these two bucks to wait for this one? We're not going to. Okay, that doe just decided to trot off. I'm not sure why. But we absolutely have to do everything in our power to get this giant to come in. Since this buck right here is broadside at 25 yards, we're gonna smoke him. And we're gonna smoke that other big buck as well. 
without spooking our giant. Oh my god, what a heck of an amazing turnout that was. Holy. Again, we're doing everything in our power to get this big buck to come in. I just don't know what else we can do. I really don't. He's not even nervous or anything. He's just standing there calm. I think maybe that could be the problem, actually. Well, hopefully we don't hit it. Okay. That should get his attention. Definitely got his attention. Now. He should respond to the call. Let's try and do some bleats. Come on. You know you want to check it out. And here we go. Let's keep on coming. A little bit further. You know, if he wouldn't stop every five seconds, he could actually come into range. Come on. Come on. Keep coming this direction. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not exactly right to us, but at least he's sort of coming this direction. We'll change up the collar a little bit. Do a little bit of grunt. And we'll do some snort and some bleats. Maybe that'll get his attention. Oh my god, come on. so close but yet so far this is honestly as close as we've ever had him we got him at less than 100 yards right in front of us here and there's also another huge buck over there as well i haven't seen him in a while but there's definitely another 200 plus whitetail oh, took a couple steps closer here we go here we go here we go come on big buck do a little bit of snort a little grunt and a little bleat. Oh, he's 74 yards out from us. I might go for 60. Might. 60 is the farthest we've ever shot, and we did take down a huge diamond pronghorn. But 70, holy, that's too far. Even 60 is a little too far. He's still coming though. He's still coming. This color seems to be working pretty good. As long as we keep changing it up like that, he's coming in. And he's 50 yards out. He's in range. He's 47 yards. He's in range. We should get him to come just a little bit closer though. Especially after as long as we've been waiting for this thing to come in. Holy. Unbelievable. He's 30 yards. He's 30 yards away. Oh my god, I'm freaking out right now. If he turns broadside, we'll have a shot. Right there, 30 yards. Holy, I had no clue he was gonna come this close. But he's gonna be less than 25 yards away right here. And we're taking the shot. We smoked him, yes! He was quartering at us a little bit, but you know what? We were not taking any chances of risking that buck spooking. There was absolutely no chance we were taking. 
Holy, what a heck of a hunt this has been. Giant whitetail buck out of a tree stand in a cotton field with the recurve bow. Not only that, we tripled up as well and we got two more huge bucks over here. That one right there and that one right there. Both 190 pluses. And then there's another 200 plus over here as well, which I don't know if we'll be able to get him or not, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna go look for him right now. Holy, let's get down there and go take a look at this buck. We waited so long for this thing to come in. It's not even funny. Ended up taking him down at 20 yards out from a tree stand. Finally, we can go over here and check him out. Wow. What a perfect shot. Took him at 21 yards and pulled off a long liver shot. He's going to be a 211 gold right out of the tree stand. Super, super close shot. In fact, we were shooting so much downwards that we actually came out almost the bottom of the lung and we were not able to get double lung because the height of that shot was so far downwards. Still hit a perfect shot on him and a giant white tail. Indeed. What a rack on that thing. Wow. Man, I am pumped with that thing. Definitely one of the smartest bucks that we've had on this map in a good while. I'm not sure why he was so smart, but he was. But in the end, we outsmarted him. All right, now these bucks over here are quite impressive as well. Yeah, that's gonna be another gold, 197. Look at the spread on that buck. You're talking 28 inside on the spread on this thing. Look at that, wow. Let's take a better view of this thing. That might be one of our widest uh, 190 plus whitetails. Not 200 plus, of course, because the diamonds, but for a 190 plus, that's a freaking giant. I knew when he came in, we were not gonna be passing that thing up. But take a look at our shot. Double long liver, right behind that front shoulder. Absolutely perfect shot placement. And I'd love to get this thing mounted, but it's gonna cost a little too much money. So we'll just admire it from here and take a really cool screenshot. Then we got this one over here, which this one also should be a 190 plus. Look at the rack sticking up. Holy, another incredible buck. It's gonna be a 193.5. He was just shy of being gold, but we pulled off a 42 yard lung liver intestine shot out of the tree stand. But another phenomenal looking rack on that whitetail. Look at that. Wow. In case you guys want to know where we're hunting right now, we're hunting over here on the north end of the map by Panola East Mobile Home. Right here is Panola, and we're looking at the map right here. We've been hunting in this cornfield over here. Now we do have another huge whitetail located in this area here. So there's a chance we might be able to get to this tree stand and potentially call him in. Either way, we're gonna take him down with AR-308 as soon as we see him. But, if we see him somewhere else and he's coming close, then we might take him with the recurve bow. Guess what guys, we just spotted the other huge whitetail buck. He's right over there, about 250 yards out. So what we did is we actually came over here and set up a tree stand right here. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna call on this buck, but we're not gonna call him into us. We're actually gonna call him right out to the middle of this field. We're gonna call him right to there. And if we can do that, then we should have a pretty awesome opportunity to be able to get a shot. All right, let's get down there and set up the caller. Hopefully we're gonna be within 200 yards. I'm not sure exactly where 200 yards is from the caller, but hopefully we'll get close enough. I don't know if that bear thinks he's a raccoon or something or what, but he's over there trying to get in that recycle bin. Although I feel like a bear is just an oversized raccoon, so. Kind of makes sense. All right, so right here we're looking at 240 yards. But the closer we get, 
It's looking like that just might work until we get to a spot where we can still see our tree stand at 160 right there. And oh, that should be the whitetail actually. Yep, that's him, that's him. There. Okay. So that's the doe. He's 211 yards. And that's going to be our cutoff right there. Because if we get any closer, then they'll be obstructed by this brush here. We don't want that. So we'll put out the collar right here. And get up into the stand. All right, we got the collar on. And we should see some motion here. As soon as they get up. Oh, no way it's working. Oh my God, that's so cool. We got a doe coming in right there. And so far that's it. This deer's about to come right underneath us here. Or is that a bear? That's gotta be a bear. It sounds like a bear. Oh my God, it's a bear. She's gonna come right underneath us. I don't think we're gonna take a shot though because it's only a female. Yeah, we'll let her be. But there's our doe. Another doe. And there's a buck. And another buck. All right, here we go. They're all starting to go out there. The doe stopped. All right, you know what? Maybe we should have taken the shot. Oh, there's a deer coming too. Now we can't take the shot. Oh, there's a doe right underneath us. Just a doe. I thought there would be a buck with her, but I guess it's just a doe. I can't believe he didn't come out. Oh, good buck. Real good buck out there. Well, we're going to have to do a little bit of enticing. Just like we did last time. Oh, hold up. This guy turned back around. They all turned back around. If we don't see that giant, we're gonna take him for sure. But I know he's right in there somewhere. Got a fox coming in. Another fox coming in. Decent six there. And there's that buck. I keep looking over here waiting for a giant to step out. But it's just not happening. Is that that bear? Yeah, I think that bear's coming back. Yeah. Same bear. She's going to blow our cover again, so we got to take a shot. Looked like a good hit. Yeah, it was money. Great shot. Whoa, another nice buck came out of nowhere. Way over there. Look at that. That is an impressive buck. All right, you can't tell me that we're going to call in every single deer in this area for a square mile. And yet our giant buck is not going to come in. I'll tell you what, we're definitely not going to pass that up. That's a 190 plus. Well, we might be able to double up here. We might take him down first. And then take him second. Wait. Him. Yeah. The other big buck is not showing itself. And another buck is coming in. Oh my god, you guys, he stepped out. He stepped out. Our giant buck finally stepped out. No freaking way. 
Oh, wow. We called in so many bucks to this field just now. It's not even funny. So we're going to try and uh, get him to come out a little bit closer. There's our buck right there. Ooh, it worked. So they get a little bit scared, but then they turn back around and go right into the call. Look at this. Three incredible bucks all coming out here. And there's our monster right there. Finally stepping out. And that's almost a shot right there. As soon as he steps out past this tree, we will in fact have a nice opportunity for a shot. He's still a little bit behind that uh, spruce tree branch there, so. I'd rather him step out just a little bit further. There we go, there we go, there we go. And he should be clear right there. That's gonna be a shot. 180 yards out. And a beautiful white tail buck. Look at that. Wow. Smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. Now, where's the other big buck? I'm trying to find him here. Oh, that's him there. Ooh. Thought I had him, but... He's hit. He's definitely hit. He's definitely hit. Oh, it's too far. Wow, that lead is so tough to figure out. So tough to figure out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I accidentally shot. I didn't even try and shoot that time. I'm trying to hold my breath. He's hit, though. He is hit. Man, that's a long ways out there. Where's the other good buck? All right, so where is our big buck? I believe he should be down right there. He definitely didn't take off. I'll tell you what, if he took off, we would have seen a huge rack running away. And even though we didn't make a good shot on that second one, all right, yeah, we got hunting pressure. He's for surely down. Good luck trying to find that thing, though. We're going to try. We're going to get out there, and we're going to try and find this thing without any tracks. It might be a bit difficult, but we're going to try. And also, this bear is piled up right here, so we should probably see if we can't find that real quick. Double lung shot. Perfect. All right, no more caller. In fact, let's turn this caller off. And it appears that that actually works. Oh, we're too far to use it. Um, it appears that that actually works really good. If the animals don't come into the call right away, just change it up. Go from one caller to the next. And if that doesn't work, then take the bow and take a shot somewhere nearby, you know, within like 10 feet or something of the animal. It will make it get alert and then it will go attentive and when it's attentive then you try and turn the call around and it does work so that's awesome oh looks like they're moving back in already looks like they're moving back in already look at this so if we were just waited a little bit our giant would have came right in oh that's the buck that we want actually 250 yards out there And that is a smoke shot. All right. Now let's find this giant buck. So there's our tree stand there. How far is that? 130. Yeah, he was about 165, 170 out there. He was a little ways. Oh my God. Yes, he's right there. He's right there. He's piled up right there. Look at this. Laying right next to the collar. Are you kidding me right now? How much more perfect could it get? Look at that. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Such great lighting and everything, too. Huge white tail buck down right next to our collar. Incredible. All right, let's do two things. One, we'll grab the collar. 
and two we'll take a look at our giant whitetail buck it's gonna be at 213 gold and we pulled off a double lung shot at 180 yards so yeah that was an absolutely perfect shot placement right behind both shoulders there and just smoke that huge buck let's take a look at that rack on this thing as well and it was again another super smart big old buck he did not want to come in until the very last second we had to entice him to come all the way into the call and finally he stepped out sure enough and we made an amazing shot on this awesome white tail buck But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found it helpful to be able to know how to use this caller a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. All right, let's go over here and grab this buck. I am going to track down the other one that we shot at, uh, well, we hit him at 315. Didn't really have much time to be able to center him. So I think our shot was a little bit far forward. But... I do believe it should take it down. Now this buck here might be kind of difficult to find. Although, he also might be just laying right here. That's exactly what he is. He's a 185 and a double lung shot on the walk at 219 yards. That's another 180 plus whitetail. So with that, that actually makes five 180 plus whitetail bucks, including two 200 plus whitetails and three 195 plus whitetail bucks. So. What an incredible turnout for the whitetail.